Report today from the EPA could mean good news for bees across the U.S. Their population has been dwindling, even here in the Northwest. Joseph Dames talked to the experts and has the facts. The United States Environmental Protection Agency wants to make sure the bees are protected. It's been a stinging problem for the bees across the United States as they are rapidly diminishing due to insecticides. Linda Zoll of Portland Urban Beekeepers says it's definitely a problem. Beekeepers in the U.S., this last year, was the, we, we had the second highest losses, 40% of the hives were lost. Now that's why the EPA has put out this, the first preliminary risk assessment regarding the type of insecticide imidacloprid. Local organizations say it's a good introduction, but it doesn't cover some important factors. A May code of the Xerces Society explains. We immediately noticed was that bumblebee concerns were not addressed by this, um, by the EPA. I think there were basic information that they didn't understand. Now I learned the assessment is mainly focusing on honeybees, but there are tons of bees it's ignoring. We've actually got hundreds of solitary bees and bumblebees in this area that are vitally important both for our wildflowers and for crop production. Uh, and unfortunately, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, I, probably in an effort to simplify, really looked at honeybees and ignored many of the very unique and vitally important risks that our native bees are going to be facing. But it's a start, and Zoll says we're doing our part here in Portland. We're starting to demand that research is being done, and people in Portland are great because we are ones that are really promoting this. Again, the city of Portland has many types of bees and throughout the whole state of Oregon. Now, the EPA is going to put out the rest of their preliminary assessments. Again, there's four of them. This was the first as it goes through the year. They're looking for some feedback from organizations like the ones here in Portland. Back to you in the studio.